Who remembers that time Ruth had to hold a terrifying mouse? She makes it look so easy. Well, she actually didn't. Like my breath, I was short of breath. So they had to get a hand towel. <laughs> Julia Garner really did try her best to hold the mouse though. In fact, the show's rodent handler even tried to calm her nerves by comparing the rodent's tail to pasta and phone chargers. But let's just say that advice didn't calm her nerves. I never want to eat pasta or charge my phone again. Speaking of nerves, have you noticed how Ruth does a lot of crying in O's? Ozark. I mean, she can be pretty emotional at times. If you want to stop me, you're gonna have to f***ing kill me! Those scenes seem mentally exhausting. They'd suck the joy out of most performers. That being said, Julia can make tears flow from her eyes at the drop of a hat. So those scenes are a piece of cake. It's like opening Pandora's box. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, you I just think about horrible things or? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, you cry hysterically. You're so good at crying. I know. Don't make me cry. <laughs> it's pretty clear that Julia is a lovely person who seems fun to hang out with. Then again, she also loves arguing with her co-stars. I never had so much fun. It's the, the best, most fun feeling fighting with Laura Linney on screen. I love it. <laughs> but there was one scene that required Julia to act so mean, she felt horrible afterwards. What the f*** are you gonna do? Kill me? You f***ing bitch wolf! As soon as the director yelled cut, Julia and Laura hugged it out, just to restore the positive vibes on set. Laura's like the most, she's the most fun to hug, even if you're not having a bitch wolf scene. So, I mean, I would do that anyway. Ruth is kind of wild, right? But Julia is all about having fun. Cut locks to kick! Oh, yo, what the f is Get wrong with the oh. skinny f for example, she's a master of accents and loves to do impersonations for people's amusement. Here she is doing her best Russian grandma voice. Now there's Dookie Bird flying all over the floor <laughs> everywhere. But can she impersonate any famous pop stars? <laughs> now try Gwen Stefani. You and me used to be together every day. <laughs> the similarities are uncanny, of course. Julia's most memorable accent is the southern twang she uses in Ozark. No one's gonna pay a red nickel for a paddle wheeler that doesn't even paddle. But how did an actress from New York learn how to play such a convincing resident of central Missouri? Well, it turns out that she just made the vernacular part of her everyday existence until it became second nature. A month before I went to go shoot, I would, you know, speak in the accent everywhere just so I can be familiar. So I would just go order my food and the, everything, everything in the accent. The accent was key to Julia landing her part in Ozark, but it made her feel like a weirdo during the audition stages. The actress spent weeks working on her Missourian persona prior to auditioning for the show, assuming that she'd be required to use it. This is crazy. I don't know about f but when she showed up to her audition, she noticed that every other actor was speaking in their regular voices. And this made Julia feel like an outsider. Here's what she had to say about the experience while speaking to Backstage. I was like, oh my god, I prepared this role with an accent and everything. Maybe they don't want an accent. So I was like, let me try saying this without an accent. And I couldn't do it. I ended up going in with an accent, and I thought I didn't get it. No, I'm f done. I'm f done, Marty. The Ozark cast might not be purebred Missourians, but the show has helped them to get to know the culture. But how well do they know their Southern slang? Nary is the word, not any, ever. Ever. Is the ever. definition. There was nary a time when I didn't want to be working with you. That one was easy to figure out. <laughs> Let's try another. Smidgen. That's a very small amount. Uh, There's just a smidgen of sugar in those muffins. Or a smidgen of interest in this bit we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, folks. This next one is a mouthful. Hair up, up like a, a summer, summer pig turd. Means huh. needs to shake. Congratulations, everyone. You're officially experts in Ozark slang. Can you say something to motivate me to train your ass? Learning slang is one thing, but has Ozark helped the cast become better criminals? Do you guys ever hear from like money launderers? <laughs> no, or like the drug cartels? Like, That's They're all around us, so I was surprised to find out. Not receiving feedback from criminals is probably a good thing, but the financial crime professor, Moyar Roussin, was impressed with the show's portrayal of money laundering at least. So he has the strip club, he has the mortuary, and he has a casino, all of which are cash-intensive businesses. 
That is exactly what a money launderer might try to do. Of course, if you're going to become a money launderer, you probably shouldn't use Ozark as your guide. It's a good starting point, but do your homework first. Money Laundering 101. Forget about Marty's criminal exploits for a second, though. Fans are drawn to his character for other reasons. Uh, what do you think it is about, because I have a theory, but why people like Marty, why they like your character? He has got incredible hair. <laughs> While there's no denying that his hair is incredible, Marty's dedication to being a good husband and father makes viewers sympathize with him. Sure, his lifestyle is questionable, but he loves his family. Now you want to try to take our money? You want a divorce? I will show you the meaning of ugly. The same can be said about Jason Bateman. But has he ever had to be a meanie head around his offspring? You'd said something to the effect of that you'd ruin the Easter Bunny for your older daughter, Franny. Not only did Jason ruin Easter for his daughter, but he made her swear to keep it a secret from her little sister. How did that go down? Franny has done great. She has not mentioned anything. Maple is still, she still is convinced that, uh, you know, a four pound bunny can carry, uh, you know, eight pounds worth of candy and chocolate. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ploy can't last forever. In fact, Jason actually plans on ruining the holidays for his youngest daughter. Uh, I, I do feel like this is, this is the last year. What's worse, money laundering or telling children that the Easter Bunny isn't real? Let us know in the comments. It's about bucking the media's opinion as to what constitutes a good parent. Most Ozark fans agree that every performance in the show is spectacular, but the cast members don't necessarily agree. For example, Janet McTeer hasn't seen a single episode. She relies on other people to give her feedback. I don't watch it. I haven't watched it yet. I've watched bits of it. Uh, my husband watches it and sort of vets it and does what, you know, and goes, you're all right, Janet, you're okay. Gloomy crime shows aren't everyone's idea of a good time, to be fair, but Janet refuses to watch Ozark because she'd rather hang out with one of her best friends from the show. I FaceTime Laura Linney instead. <laughs> At the end of the day, the friendships that take part behind the scenes on Ozark are what's most important to the actors. And they really are fond of each other in real life. We all get along great. Um. <laughs> it's a really special place to go to work, and that doesn't happen by accident. So what did we learn today? Don't judge a book by its cover. Ozark might be full of arguments, crime, and death. I should have married your brother. He was three inches taller than you. Ah! But the people who bring the show to life are a fun bunch who love working with each other. That's pretty sweet. If you liked this video, be sure to check out some of the other Ozark content on our channel. Thanks for staying awesome.